Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen functions with return value. Means what is a return statement, how to write a return statement with a function, how a function is going to return a value, but single value, right? In the previous video we have taken example, in that case the function was returning a single value, right? Now if you want to return multiple values, then within the same a single return statement we can return the function can return multiple values as well and there are multiple methods for that like using tuple we can return using object using list using different different variables so all these methods will be discussing in this video right let's take a simple example we are going to uh, you know find out mean mode and median right so let me just take this example so at first let's let's create a new file here multiple return values dot py right so i'm taking a function name i'm taking like mean median underscore mode right or any name you can take and in this case i'm passing a list the data in the form of a list so see you can pass a list as well so suppose i'm passing like something like this this list I am passing and I want to calculate mean, median as well as mode from this list, right? So this is our function. Now we are going to define this function, define def and same name we are going to take mean, median and mode. So let's take a variable list one, right? Now here we have a statistics module here rather than just writing the no, no, all the formula and all for mean median and mode just import that statistic module from python language and there we have built in function for mean median and mode so i'm going to import this statistics module because our motto is to you know get you familiar with multiple return values rather than finding out how to find out mean, median and more rather than the formulas, right? So we are not going to write down any formula, we'll just and simple in simple return statement, what simply we will write, return module name first, statistics dot the function name. See, as you can see, we have mode, mean and median, right? So let's call mean first and pass the data, data in is in list one. Now comma, then same statistics dot next is median and just pass list one. Then again comma statistics dot mode and same list one. Right? See in a single return statement we are returning three values. We are writing these. So this mean, median, mode are built-in functions. Okay. Now, while returning, now whatever the mean, median, and mode, three values, this this function will return to the caller. Caller is this function, mean, median, mode. The function name is mean, median, mode. Or you can take any function name, right? And we are passing a list here. So if if you simply print here. Then this, this data will be assigned to a tuple. Here three values would be returned to the caller and that would be assigned in a tuple, right? In the form of tuple, we can fetch multiple values, multiple return values. Okay, let's run this. See, this is mean, this is median, this is mode. And see, as you can see in the form of tuple, we are getting multiple values. So one way is this. In the form of list also, we can fetch multiple values. So here you just have to change the return and in list the data we are writing in square brackets. So just square bracket here. Now if you print this, then let's run this. See now if you are getting this multiple values in the form of a list. Or see rather than just printing if suppose if you think that I will take only one variable result is equal to this 
So is it possible that only one variable we can fetch all the three values? Yes, it is possible because here in return we are writing these square brackets. So in the form of list it, it will return. Okay, now it is not printing anything because we are not printing this result. Let us run this. See, in the form of list we are getting three values. Or one more method is what? Rather than one variable, we can take three variables here like maybe I am taking a comma b comma c, three variables. So first is, first it will return mean, okay? And rather than list, let us just take simple, nothing we are putting, no, no square brackets or nothing else. So first it will return mean, so mean would be assigned to a, then median would be assigned to variable b and mode would be assigned to variable c. So here what we can print like suppose using f string I am printing first is like mean is and mean is in variable a then median is using formatted string we can fetch the values. So mean is a, b and c. Okay, let us run this. See, mean is this, median is 3, mode is 3. And if you want to print this in different, different line, then you can write down here. You can put a slash in here. Write uh, slash in and here also slash in. See. Okay. So, like this, within a single return statement, the function can return multiple values. It is not like that a single statement can return only one value, okay. Now one point the return statement is like it is end of execution of this uh, function. So after this return if you write any statement suppose after this return I want to print end of function. So what do you think this line would be printed or not let us run this. See, only mean, median and mode, this line would not be printed because once the con control will encounter this return statement means end of the function. Whatever you will write after this return within the function, those statements would be ignored and not be, to be executed, okay. Now one more thing, within a single function, we can use multiple return statement. Here we are writing only one return statement, but we can use multiple return statement as well, okay. Let us take one more example. Suppose, uh, same, uh, I am taking that example that uh, name, first name and last name, formatted name or you can take simple addition also, that example only. So def and we are defining a function add and here two arguments, right. So I want to ask from the user, enter two variables A and B. If user enter both the variables 0, then I want to return none because 0 means no sum. This is an example. So with the help of if else we can use multiple return statement. One way is this. So if I am putting a condition a is equal to is equal to 0 and b equal to equal to 0. Both are 0 then simply return nothing else. Else return a plus b. Okay. Now let us first of all ask from the user. So in variable 1 using input function we will ask from the user. So with input function whatever we will enter that would be string. So first convert that into typecast into int here only. Now just call the function add and pass variable 1 comma variable 2 and whatever it will return suppose I am storing that into result and we are just printing result let us run this see enter first variable I am entering 0 second is again 0 see now return it is returning none because if both variables are 0 and 0 means it will enter into this if block and here I am writing only return. 
no return value it means it will return none or if you want to print here something that also fine like uh, some message also if you want to print you can write down here so let's run the say again and first variable 0 0 now you have entered 0 for both variables right so one return statement and second return statement let's run this again and if i enter one is one variable is 16 and another variable is suppose 0 now it will return the sum 16 because if both variables are 0 then only it will enter here because we are putting a condition logical and and means to enter here both the condition should be true but here only one is 0 other is 16 so it will return 16 plus 0 16 so this is one more simple example just to get you familiar with like we can use multiple return statements as well within a single function and using a single return statement we can return multiple values these two are different different concepts so i hope you got this thing is also possible and how to use this thing right now one exercise for you is in the previous video we have seen one example that formatting your name just to convert your first name and last name in title case right so there you have to put a condition in defining that function if the both the name first name and last name is none you are providing an empty string right nothing you are providing for first name and second name then it should return nothing or it should print some message like please enter valid input or if you are entering first name and last name like Jenny last name is Khatri then it will return the expected output like Jenny Khatri in titled case. So this is for your exercise you can write down this thing the logic in the comment section right. Now that's it for this video now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.